Even the most independent students can benefit from a group study session. I am the absolute definition of a lone learner, but even I, a classic solo student, can recognize the benefits of group studying for certain occasions. Katie Azevedo from SchoolHabits.com. This video is about how to study in groups and I give you six tips for group study sessions. And if you've tried group studying before and thought it wasn't for you, make sure you know how to study in a group the right way. It can make all the difference. All right, so a couple questions I'm gonna go through. So why would we even study in a group? A bunch of reasons. Mm -hmm. So studying with others can reveal gaps in our understanding. It can increase our confidence in the material. It can give us a new perspective on the material. We take a different angle. Um, it can make the learning less boring. <laughs> Frankly, you're surrounded by a bunch of people, right? That can be less boring. And then it can also hold us accountable to learning the information. And the last one, I almost forgot this, it prevents procrastination because you got to show up for the other people, right? And then when should we study in a group? Mm, well, sometimes it really is better to study by yourself. I mean, if you're just preparing for a short vocab quiz or something small like that, there's no need to gather a group of friends. If there's not much material to cover, we'll likely spend more time socializing than studying. We're better off just studying the simple stuff by ourselves and then getting together afterwards with our friends for something not school related. But for larger assessments like midterms or finals, group study sessions are awesome. So to start, I highly recommend planning your group for some point toward the end of your preparation, so closer to the actual test. So who should we include in our study group? So we have to choose carefully here. We don't form a group of our favorite people. That's just fun but no studying will be going on. So instead, we should form a group of the people who will best support our study efforts. And of course, we're gonna wanna study with some friends, and that's totally fine. But our study group should consist mainly of people who are at the same level of us and who have the same work ethic as us. These people may not be the same group of friends that we hang out with on the weekends, sort of just the way it goes sometimes. Now, if someone in your group understands the material better than we do, then we can learn from them. And if someone in our group doesn't understand the material as well as we do, like we're here and they're here, then we can teach them at the study session. Remember, teaching someone else is one of the best ways for us to learn something ourselves. I probably say that in every video because it's so true. Ah, but who should we not include in our study group? There are people we should not invite. <laughs> Obviously, we don't want to include anyone who's distracting, who's negative, who's not into what we're doing. And we shouldn't include anyone that doesn't have the, the same goal as us, even if it's our best friend. Good luck trying to tell our best friends that we don't want them in our study group, but yeah, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. So, what should we do before our study group session? It's best to study in a group after we have studied the material by ourselves. This sequence is so important. We should think of a group study session as our final step in our preparation. So we study as much as we can by ourselves before we get together with the group so that we can use the group study session to just polish off what we know or even to fill in the gaps on information that we didn't get when we were studying it by ourselves. As we study by ourselves before the group study session, it's helpful to keep an ongoing list, like an actual list on a piece of paper of questions that pop up, of material we don't understand, information we're missing, and then anything else that we think we're gonna need help with. And then we bring this list with us to our group study session so that we can get the answers from our group members. And as early as you can, start planning your study group. Think about who you wanna invite, <laughs> who you don't wanna invite. <laughs> Where will it be? Is it gonna be the house, the library, school, bookstore, right? When is it gonna happen? So what day? And then how long is it gonna be? It's not gonna be four hours, that's ridiculous. So get a date on the calendar, and this will become your deadline for trying to learn the material by yourself. Because remember, you wanna learn it by yourself before you meet with your friends. Remember, the group study session is most effective when we use it as a review. All right, so our date is here. What now? 
right? So you've already studied by yourself, you've got your list, okay, now what do we do? Here are six tips for what to do during the actual study session. Number one, start the study session off by creating an agenda. Every good meeting should have an agenda, right? Go around the group and ask everyone what they wanna cover and then write down everyone's input. Add the items for your own list too. Remember you brought this list with you? You can also do this step before the actual study session to save some time, but definitely get everyone on the same page about what you plan to cover. You don't want to leave anyone out. Number two, that's four if you add them together. <laughs> Number two, start with the easiest material first, just to bang it out and get it over with. Number three, three, check each item off the list as you cover it. And it's okay if someone wants to add something to the list as you're studying it, just write it in, no big deal. But keep track of the subjects as you move through them. Oh, it's so satisfying when you have a list of things to do and you check them off and you're like, did that. Number four, listen well. Like really listen to what everyone has to say. Even when you're reviewing the material that you think you're good on. Right? Sometimes someone else might have a way of explaining something that is clearer or more complete than how we thought of it before. And all it takes is this one teeny tiny new perspective and we're all like, oh my God, I get it now, right? That's all it takes sometimes. Number five, repeat and then rephrase back what a group member says. Doing this can seriously help us learn information faster. So after someone explains a tricky piece of material, we could say something like, all right, hold on. In other words, right? Or, all right, so let me rephrase that. If we can't rephrase it easily, guess what? We don't understand it. And we need to know when we don't understand it. And we need to know when we don't understand it. Number six is the last one. If your study session is long, more than 90 minutes, like you got a lot of stuff to cover, take short breaks. Keep them to about 15 minutes so you don't get distracted. 15 minutes, let's say, is enough time to grab a snack, go to the bathroom, move around, whatever. But even if you guys are on a roll, you still take a break. You'll be more focused once you regroup. All right, so there you have it. Group studying at its finest. Seriously though, studying with other people can be really helpful, even if you don't typically dig that sort of thing. Like me. Maybe you don't do it all the time. Maybe just for the big stuff like finals or midterms or huge projects. Or maybe you always like to study in groups. But what matters is that if you're gonna take the time to meet with your friends, set a date and a time, and go through all of that planning, then you might as well get the most bang for your buck. You know what I mean? So put some thought into who you include, who you don't include, what you'll cover, and all the stuff that I went over here, and then you should be good. Try it out, and let me know your comments or your questions below. I read them all and they make me happy. <laughs> and as always, please like this video if you liked it, or subscribe if you haven't done so already. Doing so really supports my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching.